Hey guys, it's Marcus, and today we're going to be talking about how to repel using only carabiners. So for this method, you can see here I've got uh, six carabiners, and we're going to be using these to perform a repel on the rope I've got in the background. Now, just to be clear, this is the six carabiner method that we're going over in this video. Um, if you want the Munter Hitch method, which you only need one carabiner for, I have a video for that as well. You can check it out. I'll kind of tag it up in the corner there. So the six carabiner repel is something you want to know how to perform if you ever find yourself in a situation where you have to repel but you don't have a repel device with you. So this could be an emergency situation, people sometimes fumble and drop things on multi-pitches, uh, your equipment could break, I was actually hiking with a friend yesterday who's had to do this out of Craig once. So this is just a handy thing to know how to do if you ever get down, or if you ever find yourself in a situation where you need to get down a piece of rope and you don't have your belay device on you. So I'm gonna get my harness on super quick and then we'll move over here and we'll show how to do the rappel. Okay, so I've got my harness on now. I'm just gonna explain the kind of the theory behind this rappel a little bit before we demonstrate it on the rope. So with the carabiner rappel, you're essentially using your six carabiners to replicate the motion that a rope goes through when it passes through your belay device. And to do that, you use the three carabiners in, or use the six carabiners in three sets of two. And that's kind of just a safety thing, so it's always if one carabiner breaks or if one of the gates open, you have a backup carabiner performing the same job. So it's best if you're trying this method to always have six carabiners. It also helps if the carabiners are all the same size and the same type of carabiner. I don't have six of the same carabiners. Um, I also don't even have six locking carabiners, so you can do this with just kind of any assortment, but it helps if they're roughly the same size and especially the carabiners that you have in pairs. If they're the same size, that can really make your life easier. So the first set of carabiners you have, let's see, I've got two here. These are your frame set, or no, sorry. These are kind of your connector set. These just clip through the belay loop on your harness and they connect the system that you build to your harness so that you can hang from it. So that's the first two. The next two carabiners, you can see I've got two matching lockers here. These form your frame set. So these, you kind of attach them on and the rope passes through them and that allows you to create friction within the rope. So your second pair of carabiners, your frame carabiners. Your third set, you can see I've just got a pair of non-locking kind of gate or wire gates here. These are your friction carabiners. These are the carabiners that the rope runs along to create friction within the system. So that's kind of the six carabiners that you need. We're now gonna move over here and we're actually going to tie it. So first thing you want to do, so obviously I've got my rope set up here just in a typical kind of double strand rappel. You can see that. Then you're going to take your first set of carabiners, which as I said, these are your connector carabiners, and you're just going to clip them through your belay loop there. And these ones you want to be opposite and opposing. So they're kind of faced in opposite directions there. And you can see I'm just going to lock those up super quick. There we go. And your second set of carabiners, remember these are your frame ones. So you just clip the frame through the first set of carabiners. And again, I want to clip them, this will go the other way, so that they're opposite and opposing. That just kind of keeps everything safer and makes sure that if the rope runs along one of the carabiners and opens a gate, it doesn't really open all of them at the same time. So you can see that's kind of the side view there. That's the top view looking down. That's what you should have. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to grab a bite of rope and feed that through your frame carabiners just like so. So it should look like that. And again, this is kind of similar to what you do when you feed the rope through your belay device. And you've just got it like that. That's the side view, what that should look like. And then you want to take the top of this bite of rope and the top strand of rope that you're going to be repelling from, pinch them together and then you grab your friction carabiners and you clip the friction carabiner around those four strands of rope, just like that. So it sits there. And then obviously you want to grab your second one. Now these friction carabiners, you want to be opposite, which way have I got that on, but you don't want them to be opposing. And you're going to see why in a second. So you can see those are opposite of each other, but they're not opposed. And that's because the friction carabiners are the carabiners that the rope actually runs against to create the friction in the system. And 
when you can see I slide this over here, I want to make sure that the rope is running along the spine of those carabiners and not along the gate because it could actually open up the gate. So I'll kind of reverse this quickly. Once you've got your friction carabiners clipped on like that, all you then do is you pull in the slack and you slide the friction carabiners along the top of your two frame carabiners. It can be a little tricky with the rope, but you just got to jig it a bit. Slide them in there. And there you go. That is your setup for repelling with carabiners. And you can see I'm just going to pull in my slack here. And we'll actually step off and you'll kind of get to see how supportive this is. Once more, pull in my slack, pull that, and you can see I can rest right on that. And it holds me pretty well. So as you can see, like I said, this forms a very similar movement, kind of a very similar friction pattern to what you would be using with a traditional belay device. My braking hand goes down. If I let up, I start moving downwards. If I go down, I stop. So it's a very familiar braking pattern. So that's one of the advantages of the system is the familiar braking pattern. It makes it easier. Disadvantages of this kind of system. The big one is when you're sitting down because of the way the carabiners are arranged, it's really hard. You can see I couldn't even do it there. It's really hard to ascend the rope, especially if you're on vertical terrain. You essentially, like I wasn't even able to do it there. Once you kind of weight the carabiners, you can't pull yourself up. So if you repel past your anchors or um, if you just need to ascend the rope for any reason, it can be a little tricky with this six carabiner setup. Another disadvantage of this is obviously it takes six carabiners. Now you can make it work depending on kind of what your own personal margin of safety is. If I can just get this one free, you can reduce the number of carabiners that you have within the system and you can still have it function, but obviously just by taking out these extra carabiners, you are making yourself less safe. So that's just something you should be aware of. So I'm just going to take a second to work this out here. there we go so that's out now and you can see even with only four carabiners the kind of friction setup still works I'll be able to pull in my slack and sit on this but it is less safe so you can see that still still holds me there's just less friction I'm gonna repel faster and I have fewer backups so yeah that is the six carabiner repelling method so guys, there you go. That's my super quick tutorial on how to use the six carabiner repelling method. Like I said, um, the big disadvantage of this in terms of practicality is that you need to have at least six free carabiners to do it. So if you're ever in a situation where you don't have six carabiners, you may want to use a munter hitch or even a body friction repel. If you want to learn how to do those repels as well as just some other options for repelling without a belay device, check out, I have a big video, I'll put it right up there. It covers all the different methods for how to do this and it's a lot more comprehensive. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe.